Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to use the uh, the DRC system and the online DRC system inside of uh, Orca Capture and Capture CIS. So by default now, there's an online DRC system window at the bottom that will give us um, active DRCs um, as soon as we make them, um, which can help us when you're designing and save you a bit of time. If we look at the the DRC option itself, um, it's now PCB and uh, design rule check. You can see effectively I've got the rules, the options to turn the DRC system on, etc. I've got a rule set up and I've got the batch mode and I've got the online mode. So if I enable it in the online mode, it would then come up in the online DRCs and you can toggle these on and off as you want. There's obviously the physical rule section where you can turn on and look for things like missing pin numbers, missing PCB footprints, etc. And then there's some custom DRCs that look for things like uh, hanging wires, overlapping wires, uh, again, which can save you a lot of uh, issues. There's a report set up to show you how and what reports you want to be visible. The ERC matrix that can obviously be toggled from warnings to errors to, to off. So if you want to control what DRCs you're physically checking for. And then there's an exception set up that allows you to effectively put an, an ERC code in here um, that you wouldn't worry about checking. So if there's certain DRCs that you don't really care about, you can obviously add the exceptions here. So let's go and do a few examples. If I was to just say place a part Let's just put a, a 6801 microcontroller down and straight away you can see I'm getting a, an error, PCB footprint missing from uh, instance U1 and U2. So I can select the two parts. Let's just do a right mouse button, edit properties. Um, and if we just right click and edit the PCB footprint, let's just say SOJ40. It's going to set both of those. And as soon as I close the property editor window, the DRC disappears. That's also the same for connectivity. So if I were to do a wire, for example, let's uh, let's give this an alias uh, called address zero. You can see I'm getting net has fewer than two connections. Address zero. So let's just uh, let's make a copy of this complete page. Let's go to page two. We'll paste that in. So what it's done now, I've got uh, four errors or four warnings of actually now fewer than two connections for ADDR0 and there's underscore 982 and uh, the same for the ADDR0 and then obviously two nets in the same schematic have the same name but there's no off-page connector. So obviously this one here is ADDR0 underscore 982. So capture will automatically or dynamically rename the net um, to stop you having uh, conflicts. So I've got ADDR0 underscore 982 and I've got ADDR0. So to make the connectivity between the two, I'd need an off-page connector. So let's just go and place an off-page connector. Let's call it ADDR0. That sorts one of them out. We'll go to page two. So I've now got connectivity. My DRCs are clear. Um, and you can see on both pages, I've got ADDR0 going through. So the DRC system can save you a lot of issues um, when you're doing design uh, designs to make sure that you uh, you meet the design constraints that you want and stop silly errors that can cause you problems when you, you go to netlist and make the PCB.